Okay, so this video is about this TV uh, 58H uh, 5202 that doesn't turn on, it's completely dead. First of all, remove all the screws from the back cover and uh, the foot. It's just a couple of screws. Now to the left here we see the green board is the main board and to the right that's the power supply board and that's where the problem is. When we test the, the fuse, the input fuse, we see that there's no problem with it, it's, uh, it's okay. And when we turn it on that's what we get on the 13 volts uh, that should go to the main board there's actually nothing that's like uh, 0 0.6 volts so that's of course not enough so here when we remove the uh, the PCB and measure on the other side on the bottom side this particular MOSFET this transistor we'll see it's shorted So here we see the model number of the of the MOSFET that's uh, defective. Uh, you can get those from eBay or even from Amazon, but I would prefer mm, uh, buying them from some reputable um, distributor like Mauser or DigiKey. After replacing the transistor, the TV will probably work. And if it does, I would now uh, lower the LED current they're pushing up to 410 milliamps through it and that's quite a lot and one way to do this uh, is by increasing the resistance of this resistor here it's a 1.5 ohm resistor and the LED current goes through the transistor and then through the resistor here so let's measure the current and it gives us about 614 millivolts which translates to 410 milliamps. And here, after replacing it with uh, 2.7 ohm, it goes down to 310 milliamps. So now the TV is working, and if you feel like checking for shorted LEDs, have a look in the description. There's a video, there's a link to a video of a fellow repair tech who did it. Yeah, good luck and see you soon.